Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Together for LA webinar series. This morning, we have a great presentation for you on the Comeback Checks Program grants provided by the City of Los Angeles, and we have a special guest speaker from the City of LA that has joined us to share more information about this program, who's eligible, and especially how to apply. I am Angela Amerkanyan, Program Manager for the Together for LA program provided by the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation, also known as LAEDC. I'd like to share a little more information about LAEDC for those that don't know. We are a 501c3 nonprofit public benefit organization whose mission is to harness the power of private sector in collaboration with Los Angeles County to guide economic development and create more widely shared prosperity. This webinar series is one of many of LAEDC small business programs, and this webinar series is brought to you by Together for LA. Together for LA is a strategic partnership whose mission is to strengthen and support women-owned, diverse-owned, and BIPOC-owned communities and small business communities within Los Angeles County as we strive to recover from the economic crisis brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. No cost technical assistance and connections and resources as well as this webinar series is made available through a generous grant provided by Wells Fargo's Open for Business Fund. Like I mentioned, Together for LA is a strategic partnership and we would not be able to do this work and reach these communities that really need the assistance and support right now without our partners, which are on the screen. And they are the Los Angeles Area Chamber of Commerce, LISC LA, ISD, the Dr. Lucy Jones Center, Los Angeles County, as well as our um, very important partner that has joined us and partnered with us this morning, the City of Los Angeles. I'd like to share a important website that has a great deal of resources that you should certainly take a look at after the webinar and take advantage of. That is laedc.org slash coronavirus. This is our specific small business resource hub where we update resources on a daily basis for businesses to learn about, take advantage of, and apply. We have a easy to use filter system where you can actually filter all of the resources on the website by what industry your business represents, uh, business type, as well as the type of resource you're looking for, for example, access to capital or grants. So there's a great deal of additional um, grants and loans and other funding avenues that you should um, take a look at and take advantage of. We offer complimentary and confidential consulting and technical assistance that is available for small businesses of all sizes, all industries uh, within LA County wide. So if anyone is in need of any further business and technical assistance, we are absolutely here and ready to assist you. We have a team of multilingual business assistance experts, which can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with you to learn more about your needs um, and areas that you need further assistance in, whether that's marketing, whether that's workforce development, um, any new funding sources, tax incentives, um, and so on. So please take advantage of this great resource and it is available to uh, businesses at any time and we are really ready to assist you. These are just some of the areas that we can assist, with, assist you with and that we already have established contact with. The great thing about our technical assistance program is if you need permitting assistance, we really save you the work and time by connecting you with someone that we work with, a partner of ours, for example, you know, the LA County Public Health Department or the Building and Safety Department. So we can assist you and connect you with resources and permitting assistance, financing, energy efficiencies, workforce, and so on. So really based on your need, we'll really create and curate a list of resources that will benefit you. All right, now for the reason why we have gathered this morning, we will be presenting information about the City of Los Angeles's new program, which actually launches today. So we want to give a very big thank you and express our gratitude for the city for joining us today because it is the launch day and we know that you 
are quite occupied with a lot of questions that are coming in. So uh, we have a guest speaker that has joined us from the City of Los Angeles's Economic and Workforce uh, Development Department, Carolyn Hall, who will share more information about this program. Carolyn is General Manager for the Economic and Workforce Development Department, also known as EWDD, in February 2020. And this was one month before the coronavirus pandemic. <laughs> Under Carolyn's leadership, EWDD administered the distribution of $63 million in COVID-19 related financial economic relief programs, including the City of Los Angeles' Small Business Emergency Grant Program, the LA Regional COVID-19 Fund, and the LA COVID-19 Child Care Provider Grant Program. I do also want to mention that prior to joining City of Los Angeles, Carolyn was actually Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Industry Cluster Development at our very own LAEDC. Please welcome Carolyn Hall. Thank you for that generous introduction. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, and as indicated, I'm the uh, general manager for the Economic and Workforce Development Department. And I just do want to piggyback off of the fact that, yes, it was four to six weeks prior to the pandemic uh, that I came over to the city. And so it has been an interesting roller coaster ride. So let's kick it in. Next slide. I just want to tell you a little bit about uh, the Economic and Workforce Development Department. The goal of EWDD is to develop and implement programs and projects that yield thriving businesses and create job training and career opportunities for the city of Los Angeles' residents and the surrounding region. Next slide. The COVID-19 Financial Recovery Assistance Program is really uh, uh, $50 million that what the city of Los Angeles has alloc allocated in uh, American Recovery Plan Act funding to provide much needed relief to Angelinos during the current economic crisis. To support struggling for-profit small businesses, the funding is allocated to implement a series of programs that promote a strong and equitable economic recovery in the city. And I just wanna say that as we go through the presentation, you'll see that not only are there ARPA funds that we will be distributing over the next several months, but there are additional funds and community development block grant funding, general fund for an entire package of really COVID-19 recovery assistance. And we'll get into that later. But as indicated, today's a really big day because today we are launching the Comeback Checks program. Next slide. The Comeback Checks program is a $25 million program that will provide $5,000 grants to approximately 5,000 small businesses in the city of Los Angeles. Eligible businesses include restaurants and other vulnerable industries needing assistance in their economic recovery efforts. That includes micro entrepreneurs, mom and pop shops, there's a broad range of, of businesses and almost all small businesses will be eligible. Next slide. So let's talk about eligibility. As I indicated, microenterprises. We're defining microenterprises as small businesses with five employees or less, including the owners with less than 100,000 in annual gross revenue. Small businesses are small businesses with less than 1 million in annual gross revenue and small to medium businesses, small to medium businesses that have uh, yearly gross revenues between a million and five million. Next slide. El for a full list of eligible businesses, go to comebackchecksla.com. You're gonna be hearing that a lot over the next several weeks. So remember that URL, comebackchecksla.com, because today, as of noon today rather, uh, that portal will be live and we'll be taking applications. So what do you need to, to, to be eligible for a, a comeback check? You must have experienced financial hardship as a result of COVID-19. Uh, you have to have been open since March 1st of 2020 and be located within the city of, of Los Angeles. Next slide. There are a full list of ineligible at, uh, businesses as well. Some of them being liquor stores, smoke shops, nightclubs, gun stores that sell ammunition. Uh, but for a full list, again, go to comebackchecksla.com and you'll see a full list of those businesses that are not eligible for the comeback checks. Next slide. The application process. 
we've tried to make it as simple as possible. Uh, so, so hopefully it will be uh, a, a streamlined process for everyone. The first step in the application process will be to ensure that the applicant is eligible. So applicants must have a city business tax registration certificate, a BTRC that is in good standing. So if you don't, or if you have some other challenges, don't worry, there are gonna be three rounds uh, to the Comeback Checks program. The first round, in, as indicated, opens today and will be closing November 2nd. The dates of the subsequent rounds will be uh, established uh, at a later date, but today is the first of three rounds for the Comeback Checks. Those, those who have submitted applications in the first round and were not selected for funding will not need to reapply for the subsequent round as they will automatically be included in future rounds of program funding. And please note that applicants with multiple businesses may only submit one application for the business with the most revenue. Each grant is limited to one grant per applicant and a business tax ID. Next slide. Equity. Equity is a really important uh, aspect of all the work that we do here at EWBD and throughout the city and all of our programs. So in order to support the most vulnerable in our communities, applicants that are in census tracts disproportionately burdened and vulnerable to multiple socioeconomic factors, such as poverty, uh, pollution, unemployment, uh, you know, per capita, but below average per capita uh, income, will be weighted more heavily. Next slide. So, the comebackchecksla.com. It'll be opening today at noon, uh, the application that is. If you have any challenges, please go to email ewdd-programs at lacity.org. But as I indicated earlier, the Comeback Checks program is just part of a plethora of uh, uh, programs that we're gonna be putting together to assist small businesses throughout the city of Los Angeles. So I wanna take the time to talk a little bit about some upcoming programs that are gonna be opening uh, shortly. Next slide. And those programs are gonna take into consideration the fact that there's a great need for childcare, that there's a need for rent relief, that there's a need for healthy food, and that we have to build back our main streets. We understand that $5,000 is just a start to kind of help you get through uh, for many uses, maybe uh, hit payroll, pay off some back rent, but it certainly isn't, it may not be enough to, to put, bring us back to full recovery. So uh, these other programs are put in place to support small businesses beyond the Comeback Checks uh, program. Next slide. So the Small Business Rental Assistance Program will be actually the fourth round of, uh, of, the, pro, of, of the comeback checks. Uh, it'll be grants of up to $15,000 or six month rent, whichever is less, to support rent lease costs incurred after March of 2021. Assistance will be provided to approximately 800 small businesses in qualifying industries for both current and arrears rent payments and to eligible new businesses that need assistance with first and last month's rent. We also will be opening up a micro enterprise grant program. These funds will be able to assist five employees or less, including the owners that have been impacted by COVID. Grants of up to $15,000 will be awarded to eligible businesses with priority to those businesses that have not received assistance through any other city state or federal program. Again, the, we're trying to put together a package of programs so that we can assist the largest number of small businesses. And while we are rolling out the comeback checks first, that means that doesn't mean that these other programs won't be following suit uh, soon after. And funds can be in the micro enterprise grant program, funds can be used for operating expenses, including payroll, lease payments, insurance, and inventory. Next slide. Again, equity is something that's really been important to uh, the Garcetti administration and to our city council throughout the tenure uh, during the, uh, the pandemic. And the equity fund is a million dollars that will supplement the microenterprise grant program. And it is targeted toward women-owned enterprises. 
Grants up to 15,000 will be awarded to eligible businesses to use for operating expenses and payroll, but specifically targeted uh, women-owned businesses and microenterprises. Thank you. Next slide. Childcare. We all know that childcare is a tremendous uh, need uh, for in order for women to re-enter, women and men to re-enter the, the workforce. And what we have seen that during the pandemic, many childcare providers really were hard hit with increasing costs and reduced enrollment. So we are putting together a childcare grant of 2.5 million for grants up to $20,000 to assist childcare providers. That are micro enterprises, which are five or fewer employees, including the owner, and nonprofit childcare centers that have been impacted by COVID. Funds will be used for operating expenses, including payroll, lease payments, insurance. What I wanna say about this program right now is that I will, I will announce at a later point in the next coming weeks, uh, but we are, we are, will be partnering with a nonprofit entity so that we can provide, leverage the 2.5 million that we're gonna be putting into this program uh, with other philanthropic dollars. The County of Los Angeles is also coming out with a child care grant program, and we will be collaborating so that whether you're in the city of Los Angeles or in the County of Los Angeles, funds will be made available for child care providers. But a child care support. Uh, it's an innovative program that we're putting together uh, where we're giving assistance to single parent job seekers to pay for child care service, services for up to $1,000 per month for up to six months. Participants must be enrolled in qualifying employment training programs or returning to employment. Again, looking at trying to provide support for the, the providers of childcare and those particularly single parent job seekers who need childcare assistance to get back into the workforce. Next slide. Good food zones. Really important, as we all know, the quality of food and how that impacts one's health. We are providing grants of up to 25,000 to qualified businesses to expand access to healthy foods in communities that have historically lacked access to nutritious fresh food and to promote new business models and innovation needed to offer healthier foods. This program will be rolling out in the next few months. And again, the timeline for some of these will be staggered over the next several months to a year. Next slide. Well, it, yeah, the, the Jedi zones. I know, I know, but I didn't come up with a name. <laughs> but the jobs and economic development incentive zones. It's really about our main streets. Uh, $4 million of funding to provide incentives, services, and resources to businesses located within designated zones and areas, generally in areas that have been underinvested areas in our, in our city. And what we're looking at is to assist businesses on, along main streets and corridors to provide uh, 1.5 million facade improvements, to provide assistance to subsidize permits of up to $10,000 per business, and a million dollars toward upgrading business technology. One of the things that made, was very clear during the pandemic and the stay at home orders is that mom and pop shops and many of our smaller businesses really needed to upgrade their technology to be competitive. Right. The Legacy Business Program, Recovery Program. This is a program that is uh, really important to me uh, and, and to all of us, really, but primarily because small businesses that have operated for many decades across Los Angeles are critical to the local economy. In many cases, these businesses are also the local anchors that are enticed nearby residents to shop, dine, or play in their neighborhood commercial districts, creating economic energy and pedestrian level vitality that spills over to other neighborhood businesses. Many of these legacy businesses are small, minority-owned businesses that contribute to the ethnic and cultural distinctiveness of a neighborhood. When a business that has operated for decades suddenly closes, it can, be, it can generate a sense of cultural displacement and a loss of community. Legacy businesses share many of the challenges facing other small businesses, such as increased competition, technological challenges, narrow profit margins, and increasing rent. However, because many legacy businesses are family owned for generations, they often grapple with the challenges of succession planning as younger family members may gravitate toward other career paths. 
The recent COVID-19 pandemic and the accompanying stay-at-home orders have impacted many legacy businesses, representing for the first time that many of these businesses have been closed in many decades. Even as the economic activity has begun to resume, many of these legacy businesses remain more precarious than ever before, heightening the urgency to create a meaningful recognition and assistance program for these important community institutions. As Los Angeles moves into its post-pandemic recovery, the revival of legacy businesses represents a crucial strategy to promote community-based resilience and economic regeneration. Thank you, next slide. So really, I wanted to go through uh, our programs, some of our programs relatively quickly to go through and talk to you about, uh, to get your, your feedback and your questions. And one thing I should have mentioned along the way is that the city of Los Angeles operates or supports nine business source centers. And if you go to our website, you will uh, ewdblacity.com, you will be able to be taken to an area where you can get to the business source centers and they can provide technical assistance in multiple languages. So don't forget, comebackchecksla.com, opening up at noon today. Thank you so much and I look forward to your questions. Thank you so much, Carolyn. Thank you for sharing all these great programs that are available. You know, not only the, uh, the, the grant that we have been presenting about, but so many great resources and programs to take advantage of. So um, thank you for sharing that information. And we will move into any questions that our, our attendees have this morning. Once again, please put the, your questions into the chat or the Q&A function, and we will do our best to address your questions. If your questions are not addressed, however, please take advantage of the email um, that is on the screen, as well as our technical assistance team that can actually assist you and walk you through the application process as well. Um, and uh, Carolyn, if you would like to stress one more time, when the application opens, there are some questions about when they'll be able to see all of the eligibility and the criteria documentation that's necessary on the website. So if you can just one more time, walk us through it's that process. It's, it's opening in 30, a little, little over 30, 37 minutes. Uh, I, I hear, I see a question that the, the I think the team's checking it right now. It might not right. be online at this very moment because I think they're running the final check. So hold on, it, it, the link should be working <laughs> in 37 Great. minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much. So today um, around 12 o'clock noon, so keep an eye out on that. Um, there's a question yeah. about um, eligibility. If you've received other grants, and I know this is always a concern for small businesses, are there any crossovers with any other funding sources and grants that people have received? Um, one of our attendees mentioned that they have received a $10,000 City of Los Angeles grant. Is this the same grant? And am I eligible for this one as well? Yes, you are eligible for this grant as well but you will have to attest to the fact that you're not going to use it for the same purpose. So for example, if the $10,000 grant you used for rent prior to March 1st, and you're going to use it for rent again, but you know, after March 1st, then that is a separate use and you must attest to that. But we understand that, that small businesses have had a roller coaster ride and $10,000 last year may have, may have gotten you through that period, but this is really about the recovery and coming back. So if you have received other funds, uh, we will ask that question, but it doesn't impact your ability to uh, receive these funds at all. You will be weighted differently. Great, thank you. And Carolyn, just to confirm, businesses must be within Los Angeles County, correct? That is uh, the city of Los Angeles, actually. Los Angeles. Uh, okay. This program is in the city of Los Angeles. However, we do understand that businesses may or may not know whether they're in the city of Los Angeles. So if you're unsure either, I, there may be, a, and I have to check on this, uh, there, there may be a button on our website to, so you can put in your address to figure out whether you're in the city of Los Angeles, but I will check that and, and maybe I'll put that in the FAQs. I'll put that in the FAQs on the website where, where people can find out because I know that's a question. Great, thank you. All right, and someone was asking if the recording of this webinar will be made available after. Yes, we know that we went through a lot of programs very quickly. 
Um, the webinar recording will be made available and posted to laedc.org slash coronavirus after the presentation. So please keep an eye out on that today as well. Um, Carolyn, one of our attendees is asking, what is considered a legacy business? Great question. Uh, we, in, and stay tuned because the program is actually going to council uh, in the next couple of weeks. And so I don't have all the requirements in front of me, but I do believe we're saying that a business has to be in operation. It doesn't have to be continuous, but in operation for, I think, 20 years. That's the primary, uh, or, or have had a cultural influence in the community. So if you don't meet that 20 year uh, threshold, there are other thresholds that you can you can uh, need to make to, to to qualify as a legacy business. And I will I can get back once that goes to council and it gets approved, we will certainly give that to LADC so you can put those requirements out on the uh, out out from the public. But in essence, what we're really saying is those the dry cleaners, that restaurant that you've known for like two or three generations. That's now at a point where their children may or may not want to uh, take on that. And it's often family run businesses uh, may not want to take that career path. We want to help them with succession planning. We want to help market them. We're going to be working with, we're working with cultural affairs and the planning department. This is, this is a, a, a collaborative effort really to highlight those businesses that make LA neighborhoods, LA neighborhoods, the donut shop you've always liked. Thank you, Carolyn. Specifically regarding the rental assistance program that you mentioned, is there an anticipated date for when the fourth round will open or when can attendees anticipate to get more information about that one? Right, we are, we are anticipating that these three rounds of the comeback checks will take us to the end of the year. Uh, and we anticipate that the, that the small, uh, the rental assistance program will probably open that latter half of the first week of January or the, early part of the second week of January. But you will be able to ap uh, apply. So let's say you, you apply for the comeback check and you get it. If you're lucky enough to apply for the, uh, the rental assistance and you get it, that's fine. Just, again, just can't use it for the same purposes. Great, thank you. And about when timeline-wise do businesses get notified whether they have received the grant after submitting the application? And how long will the application period be open? Actually, that's also a good, uh, good to know how long you oh, have good to question. apply. So that's great because I don't think I mentioned it during the presentation. The application opens today, uh, and will the first round, and will stay open till November second. And so we will not be. So when you apply, you will get an email that lets you know you submitted, uh, so that you're not wondering whether it went through or not, uh, and then. After November 2nd, I believe I have to check with the team, but it probably will take us five to seven, five, maybe five business days to notify people. We could, it could be shorter, but why don't I just say five? Great, thank you. And all of the information and details will be made, made available this afternoon as well. I know some people are asking about what documents will be needed. Uh, please take a visit to the website um, at noon or around noon for further details about what exact documentation you need to gather, who's eligible, who's not, uh, not eligible, and further logistics about the grant. So please stay tuned for that. Um, Carolyn, we have a guest asking if the grants are available for for-profit businesses only or are nonprofits qualified as well? This is a for-profit only uh, program. Great, so nonprofit organizations are not eligible. That's correct. All right, thank you. Okay, and we will take a few more questions. If anyone has any additional questions, I believe we addressed all the questions that have come in. Once again, if you have any further questions, Carolyn and the LADC team are available to um, assist you with completing the application as well. Oh, and Jamie, um, who who's part of our team, did just put into the mm -hmm. Um, uh, the chat box that our business source centers will be having webinars as well uh, to assist people with the applications there as we've indicated there will be documentation that will be needed to be uploaded not necessarily when you're entering the application but if you get selected 
So things like your income tax and, and the, we will probably have to be a BPRC number during the application process, but other documentation will be re required once you are a finalist. Mm -hmm. Great. And on that topic, Carolyn, um, do you um, know that for specific documentation, specifically for tax returns, will um, applicants need to upload both 2019 or are you only looking at 2020? We're taking either. Okay. Great, thank you very much. Okay, I think those are all the questions we have. Thank you for all of the great questions. I hope we've addressed everything. And one more time, um, we will have the webinar recording for you to go back and look through one more time in case you missed anything, as well as take a look at all of the additional resources that Carolyn mentioned. And the slides will also be available for you to take a look at as well. So thank you so much for all of the questions and for staying on with us. And thank you, Carolyn, for the wonderful information. I know that everyone's very excited that to apply and really big gratitude for the city of Los Angeles for really assisting these vulnerabilities you. because you know the time is now. Businesses are reopening and these are great ways for us to remain open and remain resilient, especially as we still go through the pandemic. So thank you so much for to the city of LA uh, for your leadership and support. I do have thank a you few so much. more, absolutely. Um, a few more announcements to make before we wrap. A few more programs to bring to your attention. Um, I did mention that if anyone is interested in any additional business assistance services, any technical assistance consultations, we have a contact us button on LADC.org slash coronavirus. It is a short business inquiry intake form, which really asks for generally your contact information and areas of need. So once we receive that form, we will connect you with one of our live technical assistance representatives that can further contact you to schedule an actual um, date to meet. And we do provide virtual meetings as well. Um, we are presenting twice a month for these webinars that are always around either a new grant that's made available or a resource or an accelerator program that you can take advantage of. So take a look at our upcoming webinar schedules. We usually announce two at a time and these happen every month and the webinar schedule can also be found on LADC.org slash coronavirus. Our two upcoming webinars for November are specific and ideal for small size manufacturing businesses in Los Angeles County, but of course, all businesses are welcome. Um, these are specific to a new project that we've launched called Outsmart Disaster. On November 11th and November 18th, we have two webinars that you can now register for and registration is open. The first one will be an introductory presentation about whether your business is prepared to outsmart disaster and the Outsmart Disaster Challenge, as well as Next Steps. And then the second one will be a, a deeper dive on November 18th on tips, tools, and best practices to outsmart disaster. So if your schedule permits, please join us. Both of these are at 11 a.m. to 12 o'clock p.m., both virtual via Zoom. And with that said, once again, we want to thank you all for joining us this morning to learn about the City of LA's upcoming Comeback Check programs opening today. Thank you so much to Carolyn for your time and presentation. Uh, thank you to the city of LA for being one of our most valued together for LA partners. And thank you for your leadership and for supporting businesses um, during this time. We are truly together for LA and we look forward to connecting with you after the webinar. Thank you so much and have a wonderful rest of the week, everyone.